a warm welcome to all of you good morning i am dr dd savant from department of geography jet art science and commerce college parumen malegaon district nashik today's topic that is a planes as a plain is an extensive tract of flat land or a gently undulating terrain without prominent hills or depressions plains the lowlands of the earth may be very flat moderately rolling or even hilly they are formed both by internal forces of the earth and by external processes of aggradation <coughs> and degradation they range in size from very small to very large areas they are situated in a great variety of places of all latitudes where land is known all sorts of climate from hot humid climate of the amazon basin to the cold dry climate of the arctic borders occur over plains the great centers of population of the world are on plains for more people live on plains than on plateaus and mountains combined most of the largest and richest agriculture regions of the world are on plains and hence the development of means of communication and transportation facilities are easier to develop in the plains as uh, the origins of the plains those are like other major relief features plains are best classified according to their origin one rarely finds any large plain whose origin and present topography can be attributed to single cause usually several processes have contributed to the final results often in such fashion that it is difficult to discriminate between them on the basis of their origin the plains may be classified under following categories number 1 diastropic plains peni plains flood plains and delta plains glaciated plains and minor plains as a number 1 that is a diastropic plains nearly all the great plains of the world are region that were once submerged and epicontinental seas some were uplifted long ago and have been modified by many agents of gradation others have been raised above sea level in comparatively recent times and have had correspondingly shorter and less complex life history the great plains of usa are the examples of plains formed due to upliftment or emergence of submerged land masses under epicontinental seas the great plains are bordered by rockies in the west by central lowland mississippi missouri plains in the east and by rio grande river in the south the plains further extend northward to canada it is believed that the great plains remain under water in cretaceous period for fairly long period and hence horizontal thick beds of marine sediments were deposited the submerged sub uh, landmass began to rise due to diastropic movements and the landmass appeared above the sea level by the end of cretaceous period and thus the plains were formed which soon developed various lakes swamps and marshes the great plains were subsequently modified by fluvial erosion and deposition glaciation and wind action peni plains uh, are those uh, undulating surfaces of low relief interspersed with occasional residual hills known as monad knocks and claimed to have been formed by the widening of flood plains and the bearing down of interfluves by subaerial denudation it is regarded as the end product of the normal cycle of erosion although there are few large peni plains at base level today as uh, for example peni plains particularly in Sc- scottish highlands appalachians and rocky mountains can be seen and one of the most perfect uplifted peni plains in the is in east central africa 
फ्लड प्लेन्स एंड डेल्टा प्लेन्स फ्लड प्लेन इज दैट पार्ट ऑफ द रिवर वैली एजिशन टू द चैनल और विच ए रिवर फ्लो इन टाइम ऑफ फ्लड इट इज़ अ जोन ऑफ लो रिलीफ एंड जेंटल ग्रेडियंट्स एंड मे इनकॉर्पोरेट ऑक्सबोलिक एज द फ्लड प्लेन इज कम्पोज ऑफ एल्यूवियम विच जनरली बर इज द रॉक फ्लोर ऑफ द वैली टू वेरिएबल डेप्स द इंडो गेंजेटिक प्लेन एंड द प्लेन्स ऑफ मिसिसिपी नाइल येलो रिवर्स आर गुड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ फ्लड प्लेन्स as glaciated plains if you will uh, see that uh, the great glaciated plains of central north america and western europe were plains before they were glaciated however the glaciers superimposed a new topography on the old drumlins scars moraines of different types lakes basins marshes and lacustrine plains dominate the present relief important changes have been made in the pre glacial drainage minor place if you will see that uh, those are included in the wind shaped plains of lozens place bajada pediments lava and the plains lagoons and marsh plains and uplifted wave cut plains all of which are distinctive in their mode of origin and present characteristics life history of plains if you see that uh, plains is different the future of most of the plains will be a long one coastal plains are somewhat temporary features that may be submerged or elevated by local diastropism but the great interior plains of the earth are 